Nehekara translates as the Great Lands, but is better known as the Land of the Dead. The lands were once fertile, but were destroyed by the magics of Nagash and centuries of war. The kingdom of Nehekara grew around the great river Mortis, when other men were little more than barbarians. At its height, during the Second Dynasty, Nehekara was larger than both the Empire and Grand Cathay. But like many empires, Nehekara fell to internal strife and civil war. Many wondrous monuments were built in Nehekara, with the Charnel Valley containing the most impressive. Now most have fallen to ruin, all been buried beneath the shifting sands. Nehek ruled over pre-dynastic Nehekara. In this time, people lived mostly as desert nomads. The earliest cities were built during the First Dynasty, where many different kings ruled over them. The first king to unite them all was the ruler of Khemri, Setra the Imperishable, King of Kings. During his reign, he founded the Mortuary Cult. Its priests were tasked with learning the secrets of eternal life. The Third Dynasty saw the rise of Nagash. He used the necromantic arts to raise an army of undead. It took an alliance of city-states to defeat him, but they began to war with one another soon after. Nagash built the Black Pyramid to channel the winds of power. Its imposing form dominates the landscape to this day. The nine books of Nagash contain all his knowledge. Many have searched for them, but they remain lost to time. The Sixth Dynasty saw Nagash rise once more. The war that followed caused the downfall of Nehekara. It also resurrected the Tomb Kings of old, who fought for dominance of their ancient kingdoms. Now in the Seventh Dynasty, Setra once again rules over Nehekara with an iron fist. There are currently four playable Tomb King Lords. These are available in the Rise of the Tomb Kings DLC.